Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to explore Whisper model but via Grok. So Grok has been you know really famous lately because of its faster speed when it comes to LLM inference because of the processing unit that they used. But recently they have launched Whisper as well through their uh, Grok cloud. So you can use uh, a speech to text or a transcription model you know whisper via grok cloud so you can use the grok api and then you can make transcription calls that's what we're going to explore in this video so if you look at here on my screen i'm already on on grok cloud and i already have created a key and i have taken some audio recordings from here that's called live atc.net the reason being because this is the first video i'm going to have a follow-up video on a very interesting use case where we're going to create in flight incident investigation report so if you look at all these uh audio recording that gets recorded in a black box right the flights uh, black box where you know atc the air traffic controller and the pilot they kind of you know they're always in touch they they follow a safety critical communication that's a structure because it falls under safety critical because both human lives and infrastructures are involved so we're going to build an use case this is how we're going to build this this is in the upcoming video you can see we have flight incident investigation report app basically you can upload an audio file it gives you the raw transcription and then we then we're going to use ai agents to basically create an investigation report so we're going to use crew ai here you know to create this report but that's for the upcoming video for today we only focus on this this part of it where we can upload an audio and we can you know get the transcription within few seconds you know you can also get around 50 hours of audio transcription in 0.03 dollar or something you can look at grok uh, cloud here is the grok cloud you can go and create an api key from here and then you can start leveraging it so let me show you how you can do it before that i'm going to open my github because i'm going to take some gist quickly from there just to save some time now you can guys build uh, these kind of transcription systems based on different techniques using different techniques methodologies frameworks the first of all is the plain whisper that open ai released an open source model two years back if i'm not wrong uh, september or uh, august 2022 or yes 2022 or yeah they released that and you can use whisper tiny small base and large four medium and large five different types of model that's whisper that open ai created then latency was getting a bit issue because you know you have to you need gpus to run the larger model open ai created a closed source version of that they made it available through their api because they have all the compute power the data centers the gpus to basically help you infer you know whisper model and then we saw different techniques we saw whisper jacks faster whisper you know whisper based on c c plus plus jacks and whatnot so there are a lot of libraries you go on github on the search box just type whisper faster or whatever you give you 100 of repositories you can follow it there's no rocket sign there's no hidden thing you can also do it the same way i am doing and other hundreds of youtubers are doing so there is no rocket science in it but grok has recently released uh, basically this release this whisper where you can use this through uh, their cloud and of course this is open ai compatible i'll show you what i mean by that first of all these are the requirement that you need except these two these two are for the next video and also this one except that i'll recommend you get all first fourth fifth and sixth and seventh but I hope you will watch the next video, which is more interesting, which is really interesting and very, very interesting use case. And not only as that use case, we're going to talk about other use cases when we go into the next video, like telemedicine, you know, BPO call center, insurance call center, blah, blah, blah. We're going to talk about it, guys, in the next video. Now, here in the transcript, let's get our things up and running. Import Streamlit. What will we do without Streamlit, guys? Import Streamlit as HD, import OS, and now let's get bit 64. So I'm going to have base 64 here, okay, base 64, and then we're going to have from PyDub, 
import or do and then you're going to need segment and then we're going to have from open ai import open ai to open ai where is tab 9 when you need it from open ai import open ai and from dot env so i have kept my grok api key in a env file so you can't you so you should not see it and you, you cannot copy my key and use it so load dot env you can also use python config to do that depends on you load dot env here let's get the load load dot env this is to initialize uh, the env file and whatever is there you can use it here the next is let's let's initialize grok open ai and inside this i'm going to pass a lot of things the first is api key so api key equals i'm going to do os dot invan so i'm setting it in environment and i'm going to call it grok this is how i have saved it in my env file whatever you have saved it there this should be here and then you have to pass a base url guys and that base url is open ai compatible so i'm going to use like this uh, https and you can see it's showing me https and i'm going to use api dot group that's on their documentation you can read it dot com slash open ai slash v1 this is right you can see i'm getting group here and then the next is llm let me go to my gist i'm not going to write the same thing i have basically shown it previously i'm using azure open ai i'm not using open ai directly but i'm I have my own deployed models on Azure VPC, and that's where I'm using it. And you can see it over here. These are all saved in my ENV file. Okay, you can see OpenAI GPT for version, deployment name, uh, you know, OpenAI GPT for key, blah blah blah. Okay, Azure deployment. Okay, let's pass this as GPT four. GPT four O because i don't have that in my env i remember it now my llms are done and once i have the llm i'm going to have a function that's going to convert audio to base 64 because once you upload that on streamlit app you need this function you cannot directly process an audio file in streamlit you need the you need and i will show you when you go you need the bytes of that you need bytes io input output and let's now start the streamlit page guys so st dot set page config and then uh, layout equals wide so i'm gonna have a wide layout excuse me and then page titles you can give a title i'm gonna have it transcription or something here okay transcription app you can also do icons and everything over here page titles st.state page config is fine let's have a title here st.title transcription app using grok whisper or something yeah you are using api these are not open source guys never go into this dilemma and stuff right you are using an api key it's a closed source model okay and you don't know where the where this data goes don't use it if you have a very sen sensitive and confidential audio file now uploaded file and here i'm going to have st dot uh, file uploader and st dot file uploader and inside this i'm going to have upload an audio file and then you're going to give a type so only keep it mp3 you can keep you can also keep wav if you want but i'm going to keep mp3 here so let's keep that mp3 my uploaded file is fine and now i'm going to have some conditional if uploaded file is not none then only process the rest of the code and then i'm going to have with open if uploaded file is not none and then i'm going to have with open and then i'm going to probably save save this so uploaded file dot mp3 this is how you're going to save that file and then you need the right privilege so you write as file Excuse me as file and then I'm gonna have f dot write here. So let's do that. F dot write and then you write the file. So you just you have to get you have to get the buffer of this file to write it. So how do you do it? Upload file dot get buffer. 
so bad i think i need some copilot and all some pair programmer because I have, nothing is working i have kite i have tab 9 i don't know these are idiotic you know extension and the next is base 64 uh audio and yeah you can write like that and then i'm gonna have i'm gonna use that function which is audio to base 64 you can see it over here and then inside this i'm gonna pass the uploaded file dot mp3 which i've saved it uploaded file dot mp3 so my base 64 is good and i'm gonna embed the audio file in html for that i have a gist i'll go back I'm just gonna copy this. This is just to embed. And let's get this here. And just to embed this in Streamlit. You can also use st.audio. I think that's that will also work if I'm not wrong. And then the next is st dot subheader. And I'm gonna have a subheader. I'm gonna call this as like you know your uploaded audio file or something. And then I'm going to have a markdown here, ht dot markdown. Uh, okay, ht dot markdown. And inside markdown, I'm going to show my audio HTML. And then it's the, you are using markdown, so it should use unsafe allow HTML and then it should say true. So let me just do that here. And this is how you do it. Excuse me. So you have markdown now i'm going to have a button here so if ht dot button for transcription so let's do that and i'm going to say hey transcribe or something transcribe okay if ht dot button transcribe and now i'm going to have with open again here i'm going to read that file now so if you remember earlier we we have we used write and here we're going to use read so uploaded file and then i'm going to have the read privilege okay and you can again give this as a file so i'm going to call it or excuse me audio file and now you can use this in your group transcription uh module so for that i'm going to have transcript excuse me and inside this transcript i'm going to have group dot audio and dot transcription <laughs> uh so bad so bad you need copilot guys github copilot is one of the best thing i have ever worked for as an extension in vs code uh nothing comes closer to be honest uh create and then i'm gonna have model and then i'm gonna pass here the larger whisper so it has whisper large and it has a version so i'm gonna use version 3 uh, i don't know okay v3 or something the model is done now after model you're gonna pass your file so your file name is audio file that you are reading it from your saved local directory of files and the response what do you need a response you can also get json but i am more interested into text here guys so response format text excuse me this is done blah 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 and now proof with open transcribed as an audio file and i'm gonna have ht dot success here so in ht dot success and inside this success i'm gonna pass my raw transcription so let's write something like this raw transcription and then here you can have something like plus transcript which is your variable that stores the result now this will give you a raw transcription once we are using ai agent i'm going to show you the entire flow that's going to be a very interesting video guys the next video on the use case that we're going to look at now this is done let me give you a quick walkthrough so we imported everything load.env to initialize the env file grok initiation where we are using open ai and then passing the api key we are using through grok llm which is azure llm like azure open ai deployed on azure and I have my audio to base 64 function. Basic extremely decoration for the front end, guys. You know, layout wide means the wider, otherwise, if you use the container fluid. And ht title, transcription app, some titles I have an uploaded file up file uploader. And then I'm just checking if the file is uploaded, then only go and pro uh, process this code or run this code rather. And then I'm saying first 
write the file in a local file directory you can see it over here and then convert that into base64 audio once you have base64 you use this to embed that on a streamlit app so we can play that and then i'm doing upload audio file and then couple of markdowns here guys and then i have a transcribe button when somebody clicks on transcribe it basically read the file that you have saved in the local directory and then use audio.transcription.create you just a large whisper model take your file and gives you a transcription in text that's what it does do uh, that's what it does guys now let's let's run this and see what we get so to run this guys we're gonna just do streamlit run transcript.py and this will open a streamlit app as you can see it over here in the browser automatically by itself look at the speed first of all so i'm going to upload a file from my browser uh, from my folder you can see and let me play this first zero tower six two three two hotel we just got hit by a bird pretty good on our way i don't know if you got that three two hotel we just had a pretty serious bird strike on our wing we're flying just fine but we're going to come in the way so there is a bird strike a very common thing uh in the uh when it comes to uh air transportation bird strike is the most common strike or something you know which is really really common so that's the recording and now we're going to click on analyze within few seconds you will get a transcription if you run the same thing with the large model of you know whisper open source it will take you a like it can take you around a minute as well you know so you can see this is the raw, raw transcription we got it says you know 30 tower 62320 320 tail we just got hit by a bird pretty good on our wing i don't know if you got that blah 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 we just had a pretty serious bird strike on our wing we are fine just fine but we're gonna come in the way blah 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 and this is the thing now this is the transcription in the next video uh once we do it and you can upload other audio as well it has some rate limits so if you upload it frequently it will not work so you have to wait for it uh, otherwise you can pay your you can put your credit card on group cloud and use that now in the next video we're going to build a flight incident investigation report app using grok whisper api crew ai which is an ai agent framework and streamlit so I, if i that's what i you know i've shown you in the beginning of this video and but that's what we're going to do in the next video here you can upload any other audio as well you know so for example if i upload this you can also Tricky three two hotel roger Tricky three two hotel did you need any assistance Nah, it seems like it's not an issue. We got some damage to our wing. We're just trying to take the turn. So you know some damage. Okay, so some damage has happened, and you can get a raw transcription, and you can see the here. You know, we just heard, we just heard three maydays on guard and nothing else after that. We start again. Yeah, we just three something something something, and you can have a look at here. You know, so you get the transcription here. Okay, uh, from all these files. And you can now implement different use cases. You can also do it real time, guys. It's pretty fast. At least not completely real time, but near to real time. Okay, you can do that as well. Now, if somebody is talking on a call center in a BPO, you can have some screens in the right hand side. It will, it will be a second, uh, it will be a six second delay. But I think then you can chunk that out for each sentence, or you know, you can chunk the audio and get the transcription in real time. But I'll keep this uh, video a bit short. We're gonna build the uh, app using AI agent, Grok Whisper API, and stimulate in the next video. So stay tuned for that as well. Uh, if you have any questions related to this, uh, ping your questions in Discord server, you know, which is our community. I'll give the link in description. Also comment in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channels. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us. If you like the content, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in your future. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.